Trees are fascinating creatures that have evolved to withstand the harsh conditions of the natural world. However, there are some trees that take their adaptation to a whole new level walking trees. These trees have developed the ability to move their roots, effectively walking to new locations in search of better resources. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the unique characteristics of walking trees, their evolutionary history, and the potential impact of their ability to move on the natural world. What are walking trees? Walking trees, also known as ambulatory or traveling trees, are a type of tree that has developed the ability to move their roots to find new sources of water and nutrients. This ability is achieved by a unique adaptation of their root systems, which allows the tree to uproot and replant itself elsewhere. Walking trees are commonly found in tropical rainforests, where competition for resources is high, and the soil is poor and shallow. One of the most well-known examples of a walking tree is the Socratia exoriza, commonly known as the walking palm. The walking palm is found in the rainforests of Central and South America, and is named for its ability to move its roots and lean towards a new source of light. The walking palm grows up to 30 meters tall and can move up to 2 meters per year making it one of the most mobile trees in the world. Another example of a walking tree is the pandanus tree, commonly found in the Pacific Islands. This tree is known for its unique root system, which grows above ground and allows the tree to move across the landscape. The pandanus tree can move up to 10 meters in a single year, and has been known to cross roads, rivers, and other obstacles in its path. The story of the walking palm has been shared by rainforest guides for years. It was first suggested in science by John H. Bodley in 1980. In a journal of the Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation, Dr. Bodley reported that the palm uses its roots to walk away from its germination point if another tree falls on the seedling and knocks it over. This way, the tree can move away from obstacles that are major hazards for immature palms. More recently, Peter Versansky, a paleobiologist from the Earth Science Institute of the Slovak Academy of Sciences Bratislava, claims to have seen this phenomenon firsthand. However, other scientists insist the walking palm is a myth. Biologist Gerardo Avalis published a detailed study on Socratia exoriza, where he observed that the tree cannot walk because its roots don't move. The question seems to stem from the tree's unique root system. Unlike other trees that have roots fully hidden underground, the walking palm has a higher root system that grows outwards from the base of the tree, several feet off the ground. Over time, as soil erodes, some of these roots die off, and new roots form. The evolutionary history of walking trees. The ability of trees to move across the landscape is an evolutionary adaptation that has developed over millions of years. Walking trees have evolved to survive in environments where resources are scarce and competition is high. The development of a mobile root system has allowed these trees to access new sources of water and nutrients giving them a competitive advantage over other plants in the area. One of the earliest examples of a walking tree is the Saronius tree, which existed during the Carboniferous period, over 300 million years ago. The Saronius tree had a unique root system that allowed it to move across the landscape in search of better conditions. While the Saronius tree is now extinct, its evolutionary legacy can be seen in the walking trees that exist today. The development of a mobile root system in walking trees, is also linked to the evolution of the canopy. As trees grew taller and competition for sunlight increased, trees needed to be able to move their roots to access new sources of light. The development of a mobile root system allowed trees to move across the landscape and reach new sources of light, which ultimately led to the evolution of the canopy as we know it today. The impact of walking trees on the natural world. Walking trees have a significant impact on the natural world. Their ability to move across the landscape allows them to access new sources of water and nutrients, which can have a positive impact on the surrounding ecosystem. In addition, walking trees can help to prevent soil erosion by stabilizing the soil with their roots. Walking trees also provide important habitat for a wide range of animals, including birds, insects, and mammals. The unique structure of walking trees can provide a home for animals that would not otherwise have a place to live, which can help to increase biodiversity in the area. However, the movement of walking trees can also have negative consequences. In some cases, walking trees can interfere with human infrastructure, such as roads and buildings. The movement of walking trees can also impact other plants in the area. Know before you visit. It takes a whole day to travel from Ecuador's capital, Quito, to the heart of the UNESCO Sumaco Biosphere Reserve, some 100 kilometers to the southeast. The journey entails three hours by car to the edge of the forest, and then anywhere from 7 to 15 hours by boat, mule and foot, mostly uphill and on a muddy road, to reach the interior. But the effort is worth it. Considering you wind up in the middle of a pristine forest, 
that houses a rather unusual find. Walking palm trees. Surprisingly, this fairy tale forest is currently for sale through the agricultural reform, which supports locals cutting down trees in order to gain living rights to a piece of land. What is happening is that people come, cut down a bunch of trees, and gain ownership of their piece of land. Then, after five years, as stipulated by this new law, they are able to sell the land, and they do Versansky said, until now, few locals have technically lived inside the forest. A local shaman claims there is a bad spirit inside some parts of the reserve, and the forest is rich in disease-bearing insects and other potential threats. 